So far, you have learned how to remove data from the database by using an HTTP delete request. When you learned how to remove a book from the database, we had not added any relationships to our data. But how can you remove relational data using the Entity Framework Core? For that, you'll learn how to remove a publisher and all the publisher-related data, and also how to remove the relationship between a book and an author. For that, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. Now, here we are going to add the functionality to remove a publisher. So for that, let us go to the Solution Explorer. Then in the Publishers Controller, scroll down in here, we are going to add a new API endpoint. And since we are going to remove or delete data from the database, this is going to be an HTTP delete. Then here I'll just type delete dash publisher by dash ID. Now, in here I'll just type public I action result, then delete publisher by ID. It takes a single parameter and that's integer ID, so the publisher ID. And then inside here we are going to write the code. The publisher ID will come from the request URL. So for that, in here I'll just type slash, then inside curly brackets ID. So now let us just type in here underscore publishers service dot delete publisher by ID. And this is a new method that we are going to create, which takes a single parameter, and that is the publisher ID. Now, just right click in here, quick actions and refactorings, and then just generate method. Or you can just hover the mouse and then go to the show potential fixes and generate a method. Now, let us just right click and then go to the definition. In here, change the internal to be public. We are not going to return anything. So just down here, I'll just find the publisher. So var underscore publisher is equal to underscore context dot publishers dot first or default. And that goes to end dot ID is equal to ID. So if the publisher, so underscore publisher is not null, so we have some data in our database, then context dot publishers dot remove, then in here passes a parameter, the underscore publisher. Then to save the changes in the database, you can just call the save changes method from the context dot save changes. Now, this is all you need to do, but in this case, now we are talking about the relational data because a publisher has multiple books and books have multiple authors. Now, let us save the changes in here and go to the publisher's controller. And down here, I'll just return OK. Now, before we test this method, let us go to the database and see if we have enough data to test the HTTP delete for the publisher. So, Server Explorer, let us check the authors, right click, show table data. We see that we have two authors, ID 6 and 7. Let's go to the books. We don't have any books, so we need to add some books. And let's go to publishers. Show table data. We see that we have two publishers with the IDs one and two. So let us go and add some books for the authors. In here, go to the add book with authors, then try it out. I'll just name this book, let's say book one. Description just string is read false. We don't need the date read and rate. The genre string cover, I'll not change anything. Publisher ID, let's say one. The author IDs will be six and seven. And let us create the first book. So execute. If you scroll down in here, 
you can see that the first book was created. Now, let us just create another book, so book two. And this is for the second publisher. And it was created by the author ID seven. So, execute. And the second book was created. Now, if you scroll up in here, and then click the get all books, try it out, execute. If you scroll down in here, you can see that now we have two books in our database, the one with the ID 13 and another one with the ID 14. Now let us scroll down to the publisher section. And then here I'll first call the get publisher books with authors. Try it out. If I type one and then execute, we can see that this publisher has a book named book one, which has two authors. And let us scroll up, let us change the one to two, and then execute. If you scroll down in here, you'll see that publisher two has the book two with the author two. So let us remove the publisher two and see what happens in our database. So scroll down in here, click and try it out. Then ID will be two and click execute. If you scroll down in here, we can see that the publisher was removed successfully. So let us go to the Visual Studio and see what happened in our database. I'll just close the browser. If I refresh the publishers, you can see that the publisher two was removed. Now let us go to the books. And in here, let us refresh the books. We can see that in here we have only the book one because the book two was published by the publisher two. So the book two is also removed, but the book two was written by the author two. So let us go to the authors table and see if the author two is removed as well. So let us just refresh and we can see that the author is in here. So let us try it one more time. I'll just start Visual Studio. Then in here, I'll scroll down to the publisher, delete publisher by D, then try it out. Type in here one, because we removed the publisher two and click the execute button. If you scroll down, we can see that the response was a success. So let us just close the browser and go back to Visual Studio. In here, let us go to the publishers and in here just refresh the publisher's table, we see that the publisher is gone. Let us go to the books. Let us refresh the browser. We see that the books is empty. Let us now go to the authors and refresh the table. We can see that the authors table has still the authors, but if you go to the books authors, so Solution Explorer, then books authors, the relationship between the books and the authors is removed. So basically the entity framework core is smart enough to know when we have a one-to-many relationship and when we have a many-to-many -many relationship. If the relationship is a one-to-many, then when you remove the parent entity, the children entities will also be removed. But when you have a many-to-many, -many, the relationship will be removed. Now let us start the app one more time. Then go to the add book with authors. Try it out. I'll just set the title to be book three. Then the publisher ID will be three. Author IDs will be six and seven. Now let us just click execute. Now let us check the database for the publisher that we just added. So in publisher, just refresh. We see that the publisher was created with the ID five. So let us start the app one more time. Then in here, go to the add book with authors and try it out. Then click the execute button. So the book was created. Let us stop the app and go to Visual Studio one more time. In the books table, just refresh the table. You'll see that you have a book with the ID 16. The publisher ID is set to be five 
And if you go to the books authors and refresh the table, in here you will see the relationships. So let us just start Visual Studio one more time. Then in here, scroll down to the delete book by ID, try it out. Then in here, I'll just type 16 because I know that I have a book with the ID 16 and then click the execute button. If you scroll down in here, you'll see that the request was a success. So let us just close the browser. Then in the books table, I'll just refresh the table. And now we can see that the book is removed. Let us go to the books authors. Let us refresh in here. We can see that the relationship is also removed. Now let us go to the authors and here refresh the table. And we can see that the authors is not removed. Now that's because we have a many to many relationship between the books and the authors. And when you remove an entity from the many to many relationship, the entity framework core is smart enough to know that it shouldn't remove the authors in this case, because it's not a one to many relationship, but just the relationship between these two entities. So that's why we can see that the books underscore authors is empty. Now in here, if you go to the publishers table and just refresh the table, you can see that the publisher entity or the publisher data is still in here. And that's because the publisher is the parent in a one to many relationship. So when you remove a child or even multiple children, the parent entity will not be removed. 